A major moment in history is a mere two hours away. When the clock strikes midnight, weed will be legal in Minnesota. State licensing is lagging behind, so most stores will have to wait to put marijuana on the shelves. But there are some places where state law does not apply. Red Lake Nation governs itself, and it's ready to go green right away. WCCO's Caroline Cummings is there. Hopefully they have a good experience and they'll continue to come back. Red Lake Nation Tribal Secretary Samuel Strong says allowing sales of recreational marijuana has been years in the making. Now the tribe has a chance at what could be a billion dollar industry before anyone else. In between that and when the dispensaries will open, we wanted to take advantage of that period to maximize the uh, business opportunity here for the reservation. Tuesday, the tribal owned dispensary will be one of the only places you can buy legal weed in the state. Because of its sovereignty, Red Lake doesn't have to wait for state rules and regulations, which will fall under a new state office of cannabis management. It will be at least a year before you see retail sales in the Twin Cities and elsewhere as officials work to get the office up and running. Strong believes the move is a boon for business, a way to support all members, with plans to make a deal through an official compact with the state to operate businesses off the reservation. But having a destination dispensary, for now, is also a way to build relationships with all Minnesotans. There's negative perceptions about the reservation, and we want to debunk those. We want to create a good collaborative relationship with all Minnesotans, and we hope that the people that come here share that same mentality. In Red Lake, Caroline Cummings, WCCO News. The state predicts most legal sales won't start until early 2025, but while you wait, you cannot order weed from another state. That's because anything that crosses state borders is federal jurisdiction, and weed is still illegal at the federal level. That could also complicate the way you buy weed. The federal government regulates credit card companies, so your cards might not allow that kind of purchase. Still, if you are 21 or older, weed will be legal to have and using start tomorrow. There are limitations to every rule, so head to WCCO.com if you want to read more on what to expect when a new law takes effect.